Hi, I'm Simon Jarry. I'm the Debt Centre Manager for Christians Against Poverty based in Stamford in Lincolnshire. Our centre reaches out across the wide area, um, across the south of Lincolnshire, up into to Spalding, down across around the edges of Peterborough as well. And we are a national charity and uh, many of our debt centres cover a vast majority of the postal codes across the country. We seek to bring hope to people who are struggling with debt issues. We come alongside people, visiting them in their homes, just helping them to, to come to terms with, with the situation that they're in. And we then journey with them as they come out of debt. We seek to bring alleviation of debt for people through a variety of means. People being able to pay off their debt or being able to go insolvent in some way through a debt relief order or, or even bankruptcy. We can help people in, in any way that's appropriate. Being in debt is a very difficult period of time for people. So we count it a, a massive privilege to come alongside people and help them during a time that is really difficult for them and when they're struggling. And we've seen some fantastic results of people's lives transformed and turned around through the work that we do. Hi, I'm David Clark and I'm a, a debt coach uh, with the Stanford Debt Centre. Um, it's for me, it's, as Simon said, an amazing privilege uh, to help with this work of Christians Against Poverty. Um, when Jesus started his ministry, um, he went to the temple and he read from the book of Isaiah. This is what he read. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has appointed me to preach good news to the poor. He sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom from the captives and to release from darkness the prisoners. You know, debt is a dreadful prison. People are really caught up in something they just can't find a way out of. And with CAP, we are able to help people break free from debt. And I think that's the most marvellous thing to be involved with. Well, I count it an enormous privilege to work for CAP, to, to, to be given the opportunity to go into people's homes, to bring hope to them in their difficult situation. And uh, I have a wonderful team of befrienders, a support team who, who support us in so many wonderful ways, just uh, coming out with us and meeting people who are broken and in need of help. Um, we've been doing this job now for 10 years and uh, we've seen many, many people, over 450 people we've seen and families who we've been able to bring that hope to and to see them transformed from really struggling in, 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 in sheer poverty um, to being free from that. And uh, yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful privilege to be able to work with people and work through that with them. Our work is done very much in partnership with the local church as well. And uh, we have a number of churches who support us wonderfully as well, financially, um, and also in providing um, helpers as well and befrienders. So without their help and without their support, um, our work wouldn't be anywhere near as powerful. So I just want to thank people for supporting us and partnering with us. Can you imagine how many of our clients have either considered suicide or attempted suicide before actually getting in touch with CAP. It's a staggering 34%. And 30% of our clients have struggled with debt for over three years before getting in touch with CAP. So if there's anything you can do to help people by referring them, by mentioning CAP and getting them to call our 0800 number so that we can help them. That would be a wonderful thing that you could do. You could also visit our website and you can see other ways that you can connect with CAP and help our cause. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.